We in Israel believe in shooting ourselves in the foot. After we shoot ourselves in the foot, we blame the Palestinians. Because to blame the Palestinians is a very special honor. Do you know who I am? I speak on behalf of the Jewish people. My name is Anat Morad and I'm from Israel. Have you heard of Israel? You have? Well, I hope you heard only good things. We in Israel believe in shooting ourselves in the foot. We don't waste any time. We do exactly everything upside down. Because that way, we can be special God's chosen people. After we shoot ourselves in the foot, we blame the Palestinians. Because to blame the Palestinians is a very special honor that only we get to do. Do you ever get to blame Palestinians for what you do, your crimes? <laughs> it's much easier to go through life that way, trust me. Especially when we are the biggest criminals in the world. Do you remember when we bombed King David Hotel a long time ago? No? Good, forget about that. Remember what we did to the flotilla to Gaza? You don't? Good, good, stay ignorant, it's good for us. And if you have, full leftist, how dare you be educated and know what's going on. Anyway, I wanted to tell you about my stupid, crazy sister. She refused to be a soldier. Huh? Is she crazy? Who am I refuse to be a soldier? It's a good thing to die for a piece of land. But she refused to be a soldier without even one lie. And using the psychiatrist, I told you she's crazy. She used to go to the psychiatrist all the time in the army and cry and say, I don't want to be in the army. Well, and they used to make her wait for hours to see the psychiatrist. So she would be waiting in this hall room with usually six other men soldiers and they would be crying and crying. And she'd tell them, why are you crying? And they tell her, we will never forgive ourselves for what we did. Like, what did you do? You are being a soldier fighting for a piece of land. What are you crying about? Anyway, then she tries to go and have lunch. When she went to have lunch, she can hear this sound from the lunch. Well, she can hear... Ooh, ooh. She thought there was a war going on. Who knows? Nuclear weapons. Sounded very weird, like creepy. So, she goes outside, and what does she see? She saw 2,000 boys crying. But crying like a baby when you change their nappy and they're not in the mood for you. Like that. She never forgot that. Until this day, she says, there must be something bad going on that they're not telling us about. I say to her, what? She says, I don't know. Nobody knows. <laughs> Stupid crazy sister.